the ancient city of Bursa. The Ottomans made this their capital nearly 700 years ago. But even before their arrival, Bursa was famous for silk, which has brought prosperity and status for 15 centuries. Now, the silkworms that produce these cocoons, from which silk is made, of course, really thrive here in Borsa, thanks to the plentiful mulberry trees and the unique climate. The problem is, it takes around six of these big bags to produce one scarf. It's an expensive and labor-intensive business, and cheaper Chinese products have, over the years, nearly wiped out Borsa's silk industry. Traders at Borsa's biggest silk market explain why they have to offer Chinese silk alongside local products. What you see here is Chinese silk, and this is Bursa silk. Chinese silk is less dense, and it's only 20 lira, whereas Bursa silk is more dense, and it's 100 lira. Often customers want to buy small gifts, so we offer them this more affordable Chinese silk. But the rich and famous, and even royalty, come here for Bursa silk, and the government is determined to keep this ancient art alive. And so it gives financial support to people who still work in the silk trade, like Selman Ozturk, who's been in the business since he was a child. He works alone in this little shed. Well, within just 20 minutes, Selman has turned all these cocoons into silk thread. They're hard to see with the naked eye, but if you gather them up, you can just see them passing through my fingers there. It's in old times, we used to do lots of business. This is an old occupation. Nowadays, there aren't many who do this job. In Bursa, there is only me, and I'm trying to keep this business going. This production and design center also gets government funding. Its director, Mehmet Unal, knows all about silk. His family's been in the business for 200 years. The first step of the project is to transfer the memory and skills of the old generation to the new generation. We have accomplished that, creating new workshops, and we have even started exporting our towels and rocks. But Borsa's silk industry will never be what it was. All the major factories are now closed. Still, thanks to the determination of local people, it's once again showing signs of life. Matthew Moore. TRT World, Borsa.